Hi, I'm Gerardo Davila. Did you know that the air you're breathing today would not be the same without the Clean Air Act? The standards for air quality have radically changed over the years in response to what we've learned about the dangers of polluted air. The history of what's commonly called the Act was sparked by major environmental events that affected thousands. In October 1948, a thick cloud of air pollution formed above the industrial town of Donora, Pennsylvania and lingered for five days, killing 20 people and making 6,000 sick. Only four years later, in 1952, over 3,000 people died in what became known as London's Killer Fog. Tragic events like these alerted us to the dangers that air pollution poses to public health. In response, Congress passed the first federal air pollution legislation in 1955, which eventually led to the original Clean Air Act of 1963. It wasn't until 1970 that a much stronger Clean Air Act passed, giving birth to a comprehensive program to address air pollution. That same year, Congress created the Environmental Protection Agency and gave it the primary role in carrying out the law. Since that time, other amendments have been added to the Act. In 1990, Congress dramatically revised and expanded it, providing the EPA an even broader authority to implement and enforce regulations reducing air pollutant emissions. It's these most recent amendments that have paved the way for the vehicle emissions testing program Colorado has in place today, one of the most comprehensive and effective programs in the U.S. The Clean Air Act has evolved for nearly 50 years, creating tougher standards for controlling air pollution and making breathing a whole lot easier in the process. To learn more about the simple steps you can take, including tips on vehicle maintenance, to help keep your car in the air clean, visit our website, aircarecolorado.com.